on this first segment of an installment that I'd like to do about little known secrets of the cello technique or string playing technique, I'd like to cover now pressure of the left hand. Generally the pressures of the two hands are coordinated and simultaneously about the same. But there are times when massively doing them differently will enable us to achieve effects uh, and demands from the music that are uh, unusual. If I play a spiccato, I could play a fluffy light spiccato like this. And I like that quality of sound. However, we all noticed even on this pickup that there are some notes that don't quite speak and they sort of quite slightly whistle. The reason for that is that the bow is very, very light on the string and sometimes it catches it fine and sometimes it doesn't. So what are we going to do? We need to get more deeply in the string because the, string, the wood is going to be pulling the bow out of the string. So we'll play deeper. Now we get a much more consistent tone of the note. However, it's an unacceptably scratchy sound because we're pressing down so much. So if we didn't have the beginning of the scratch and then a lightening up and a nice quality of sound like a mezzo forte, we'd be in the clover. However, what we need to do is make sure that we can play that way and not get the scratch. One of the secrets is to give the string back its cushion. If we hold it down stiffly with the left hand and test the cushion of the string down at the bottom where the bow goes, it's rather stiff. If I pick up my finger on the string, so I'm about halfway up, and I do that again, the whole string length goes up and down and it's much more supple. Because of that, when the bow hits the string strongly, the string can give. This enables one to be able to play very strongly with the give and then this acceptable sound. If we want to get a little less str scratch, instead of going vertically on the string, we'll use a little bit more bow, so we'll be going slightly more horizontally. That way we ensure that we get a good precise uh, energetic focused attack for the profile at the beginning of each note. We get a full mezzo forte ringing tone for the length of the note and then we ensure because this bow is very strongly in the string a good attack for the next one etc. This is underestimated how much you can help yourself with the left hands work for shifting flexibility and for cleanliness of passage work through letting the string have more give and having much less friction about moving the hand around. I hope that's been some help to you and happy celloing. <laughs>